Over the past few years, we have seen different philosophies develop when it comes to displaying your EMTB data. There is the more minimalist approach of there being very little in the way of rider and bike information in the handlebar area. And then others where you have displays with data of your ride easily visible. And then you have Croatian brand Grape. Integrated to your phone, integrated lights, integrated camera, and even tuned into your heart rate to enable you to get the right workout when you need it. Range-based navigation, route planning, this is all pretty futuristic stuff. And so we've been fortunate to have been sent two high-end great G6 bikes with some next level connectivity. The great bikes come with one of the largest capacity batteries on the market at 700 watt hours. But more than this, the actual dimensions of it are actually quite small. What I really like is the fact that you can demount that battery within split seconds, which is a really cool feature, which means if you uh, want to charge your battery in a hotel room, it's very easy to do. And finally, what's great about the location of that battery, it's uh, located centrally over the motor, which means you can actually pop the front wheel and the back wheel pretty easily. So yes, when it comes to electronics, I guess Grape are pretty much ahead of the curve. So what do we know of Grape? Well, the big news is that Porsche now have a majority stake in the business, which can only be exciting news. Of course, they are also the sister brother company of Rimats, one of the fastest electric sports cars in the world, who design, engineer and craft their cars in Croatia. And how? Check out the Nevera, a car which is capable of, yes, wait for it, 412 kilometers per hour, nor to 100 in less than two seconds. Now that car actually has 2,300 newton meters of torque and a 120 kilowatt battery. Now, sorry to go on about cars a little bit too much, but I actually think that when I look at the dashboard of this bike, it does remind me of that Nevera, which is named after a Mediterranean storm. In fact, I was lucky enough to have visited Grape a few years ago and got to ride on some incredibly beautiful landscapes. But I was a little preoccupied taking on Chris, who was riding another Grape bike, the full motor style G12e Hyperbike. I'm really happy to be reacquainted with the G6 bike. So back to the here and now. The motor on the Grape G6, in fact all the G uh, series bikes, is pretty powerful, 18 newton meters of torque, and is actually said to be nigh on indestructible because it's almost totally made of metal. And more than that, it's actually said to be able to operate under water. But you know what? I think I'll try and avoid too much of that. So what is this bike all about? What is the shape and purpose? Well, 150 mil travel, 29, 27.5 wheels. This bike is quite different in terms of geometry to many other 150 mil travel bikes. It's definitely not an EWS race bike. But what is the nature of the bike? Well, as Gray put it, whether you're up for some wild uncharted territory or a smooth cruise, the Grape G6 and Grape G5 e-mountain bikes will get you where you need to go. So as we hide away from the wild weather in this Welsh barn, it's worth reminding ourselves that's exactly what we've done with this bike. We've mixed a bit of rough with the smooth. So I think big adventure rides and big landscapes, that's the kind of place this bike belongs in, place where route finding can be possibly problematic. Now, having spent a considerable amount of time on the G6, both here in the Welsh hills and also on the limestone rocks of Croatia, I think this bike is actually for a rider with different goals. Someone who's really gonna enjoy the tech on this bike. Now, I for one, am a big fan of going for a ride, coming back, analyzing the data, and then replicating the run again, either faster or maybe with less assistance. And of course, the best way of getting that post-ride information is via the Grape app. 
Uh, now let's quickly turn our attention to the remote and the display. Now remember, you can actually use your phone as a display. Now let's leave that there for a minute. Uh, but as you see, you've got the remote here, which has got the modes of the bike. There's five uh, levels of support in there. You've got a joystick for navigating the menu. You've got the walk mode, which I won't touch now, and also the lights. Plus, you've got the video, which I've not spoken about yet. The G6 features an integrated eSIM. What does that mean exactly? Well, whenever the G6 is on, it means it's also online, which means you can check the status or locate it. Now, this is great news for many, as it means big adventure rides like this, you'd be able to be tracked should something go wrong. On the other hand, it'll also mean you'll be able to found if you're down the pub too. Now, obviously, if the bike is down the pub with you, then it's all good. But if your bike is in the hands of someone who shouldn't have it, remember you can check out the location via the app and the onboard cameras. Now, the central brain of this bike comes with a whole ton of information, such things as cadence, rider watts, motor watts, geographical range, and of course, that built-in onboard video. Let's go into a little bit more detail on the tech then. Now, three uh, basic features, Bluetooth, USB, and free connection, yes, free connection to T-Mobile until 2024. Now, I mentioned the central intelligence module on the bike, but four of the things I think are really key. You've got sensors, you've got GPS, barometer, and accelerometer. Now, the moment you actually pull the brakes on this bike, it cuts the power, which means you're not gonna be using any unnecessary power. Very cool. And it doesn't stop there. You've got a heart rate monitor, integrated cameras at 30 frames per second, terrain-based range. Now, this is awesome because it shows you the limits you can ride within and whether you are likely to get there or not in a certain mode. And of course, navigation. Now, navigation is fantastic on this bike and really, really easy to use. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I fully believe that this bike is for people who are gonna really enjoy the tech on it. For example, the retro video mode. Now, all you have to do is hit that left-facing arrow and the bike rewinds and retrieves the last 30 seconds of video, which means you're never gonna miss those crucial moments of action. And also, it stores it on the bike and also on the app. Remember, with Grape's own heart rate monitor strap, you have the option of customizing your ride to have more or less of a workout. What this means is that you set up the heart rate range that you want to ride in, and the motor will give you more or less power depending on the level of effort you're aiming for. All clever stuff. And remember, this bike will always keep track of your ride history as long as it's connected to the battery, which means in turn that you can always keep tabs on the efforts that you put into your rides. So all in all then, I think a fantastic training tool for sure. Now in as much as we spent quite a lot of time in the wild of mid Wales, you can equally have a great time on maybe some of the smoother forest tracks, whereby you can actually spend more screen time actually analyzing your outputs and your data and your route finding as you go along, which is equally as fun in my eyes. Uh, what I haven't mentioned actually is the range of G6 bikes. There's 10 different bikes in the range, different colors, same wheel size, same battery, and obviously the same technology which we've just spoken about.
What does the future hold then? Well, we know that both Porsche and Grape are pioneering spirits in mobility, and I can only imagine that the R&D will ramp up even further. It doesn't take much to think that Grape will surely be selling their know-how to other brands in the future. Mm -hmm.